Well, complaints about racism seem to stop working for the left politically in 2016, but they're doubling down anyway. Former DNC Chairman Howard Dean recently claimed that voting for Republicans is racism, pure and simple. Watch. Today, in the 2018 elections, if you vote for a Republican, you're supporting Donald Trump. This has now become a referendum. If you want to vote for a racist in the White House, then you better vote for Republicans. But if you want to vote for the Democrats and really have change, that's where I think America is going. Michael Starr Hopkins is a Democratic strategist. He joins us now. So. Michael, he, the former party chairman is basically saying, if you don't agree with me, if you vote for the other side, you're immoral. And that doesn't seem no, to be, well, I mean, you're voting, you're voting for racism, which I think is tantamount to being immoral. I think it is anyway. And so I, that seems to be a message. Yeah, right. So if you don't agree with me, you're a bad person. That is not a message that wins converts, is it? No, it's not. But I think that Howard Dean makes a really good point. Donald Trump may not be a racist. I don't know what's in his heart, but he sure looks like one. When you mm -hmm. equivocate on whether the alt-right is racist, when you refer to Mexicans as rapists and black people as thugs, you look like a racist. And so I think that the Republican Party needs to have a really uncomfortable conversation about why uh, they always end up on the side of defending racists. Well, I don't know if they always end up on the side of defending racists. I mean, I think the country might have a fruitful conversation about how Donald Trump got elected president. And these little fairy tales Which we tell ourselves, right, about how if you voted for Trump, you're a racist is absurd, actually. People didn't yeah, vote I mean, for Trump, I by and large, because they're racist. They voted for him because they had real economic concerns, which the Democratic Party has ignored and is continuing to ignore in favor of these ludicrously broad statements about racism. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, they're missing kind of the point I do. Actually, I, I agree with that. I have friends and family who voted for Tom, Donald Trump. I'll never understand why, uh, but he was able to get them to vote for him. Um, and they aren't racist, but I think that they made a really big mistake in endorsing someone who uh, has backed racists, who has had made really inappropriate comments and made the Republican Party look like racists. Um, okay, maybe, but at some Democrats point, right, okay, on. so you jump up and down, you're racist, you're racist, but didn't, I mean, I think Hillary Clinton tried that for like a year. That was the sum and substance it, of her campaign. You're bad if you don't support work. me. I you're, worked on that campaign. Work. Exactly right. Then you, you saw it. So mm -hmm. why not just say, okay, you can make up your own mind about Trump. Everyone sees Trump, and you can kind of come to your own conclusions on that. But here's an economic program that's going to help you send your kids to camp and get you out of credit card debt and maybe get your son a job that pays as much as you make. Like, these are real issues mm -hmm. I never hear anybody on the left talk about. And I think it's difficult to have those conversations because the media gets so caught up in talking about every day the Trump comments, talking about you know the bombastic comments that he makes that we never really get to have substantive discussions on how are we going to make sure that our schools are good? How are we going to make sure that taxes are low? How are we going to make what's, sure that wait, Americans Wait, hold on. I'm safe? sorry. Just to, so we can cl clarify the terms. What's the difference between the media and the Democratic Party? Uh, a big thing. Fox News is the media, and uh, they definitely aren't the Democratic well, yeah, Party. Yeah, Fox is one TV channel out of uh, a dozen or more potential options. But every other mm -hmm. TV channel, every other newspaper, magazine, the overwhelming majority of websites, all of them take their oh, cue from Democrats. Tucker, there's no, no, Newsmax, I'm not being... there's all kinds of Republicans. Well, yeah, there, like there are some. Wall there are journal. some. There are absolutely a few that stand out in opposition to the rest. But by and large, you can't, if you're a Democrat, you can't really blame the media because, of course, they're doing your bidding intentionally. I mean, they hate Trump. Well, they're you know, not doing my bidding. And I don't think the media hates Trump, but I think most Americans have a very big lack of respect for Donald Trump. You know, okay. I hope that once he became president, he would become presidential and learn while he be, uh, was on the job. I think we've seen that he's done anything but. Look, he's, so he's probably now, never going to satisfy you. But what might be helpful... But he helpful, shouldn't satisfy Republicans. Okay, but whatever. But maybe there are issues more important than dumb things he said or naughty opinions he has or whatever. There's an economy out there that nobody ever talks about. Or how about the fact that he's sending more troops to Afghanistan? Where are Democrats on that? They don't take a position on any of this stuff, the meat, the substance of governing, because it's enough for them to say, he's immoral, I'm a good person. That is childish. Like, I wouldn't vote for them. Even if I agree well, with I don't them, think, I wouldn't I don't think that them. that's childish. I think the Democrats should absolutely point out the fact that Donald Trump has been a failure as president. But I think we can walk and chew gum at the same time and well, say Donald Trump any. is a Where's president. Where's the gum chewing? <laughs>
<laughs> well, I can tell you right now, Democrats have come out and uh, suggested amendments to Obamacare. We've talked about uh, making sure that uh, the cost share payments are uh, put back in place, that carrots are put into the marketplace. Uh, we've talked about how to make college more affordable. But, you know, everything's been drowned out by the garbage that Donald Trump spews <laughs> every day. And so I think, <laughs> I think words, all networks... Our message is getting drowned out by Trump, who's evil and racist! I mean, I let's, let's be honest, conscience. every day he tweets okay. something out, and okay. that becomes and the narrative for the entire day. All right. Michael, thanks a lot for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tucker.